Hello, my name's Abram Magandangabi, and these are the three or four or however many reasons why I moved me, my wife, and my three kids from the United States to the Philippines. Before I get into that, I want to mention that we did not figure everything out before we moved here. That's the <laughs> that's the whole point of this YouTube channel. Like, like we didn't spend like years like deciding, oh, we're gonna live here and we're gonna send our kids to school there and we're gonna build a house before we move here and do any of that nonsense. Like we just we just decided we wanted to move to the Philippines and then moved here as fast as possible. We still have a house in the U.S. that we're trying to sell. Like, like we're, we, we aren't waiting for life. And that's like, that's like one of the main reasons why we moved. Let's just get into it. I felt like my life was on hold in the United States. Like I, I hated that feeling of waiting for life. I grew up with six brothers. Three of them have died. And I don't know to need to get into like the, the reasons why they died for different reasons. They didn't all die at once. But the point is I have this, this urgency to try to live my life to the fullest right now. I don't want a vacation from my life. I want to live in the vacation destination. Like, why not do that now? Well, you know, I'm 32. I'm not old. Like, I can do that now. I can have my kids experience that now. I can have my wife experience that now. Like, we don't have to wait until we retire to live the life that we really want to live. The next reason is, like, everyone here speaks English. So it's, it's really easy to get by. I mean, obviously, you should learn the national language if you're here. Like, you should learn Tagalog if you're going to move from the, US, the United States to the Philippines. Um, you know, in even if your Tagalog is broken, like, I, I can say... Uh, I don't even know if that's right. The point is, if I say that to someone, they understand I'm struggling. They can kind of make out what I'm trying to say and then, like, talk to me. Um, or if they don't speak English, they'll, they'll grab someone that speaks English. You could 100% get by only speaking English here is the point. So while you're learning language, it's really very doable. Um, the next reason is the Philippines has a great education that you can give to your kids, and they put an emphasis on entrepreneurship. Plus, this is a very safe place to raise a family. I think that, like, <laughs> I saw this comment on my YouTube channel the other day where someone said, Abram, you moved from the United States to the Philippines? And then he put in all caps, no, huge mistake. <laughs> and I was like, what? Uh, so, of course, I went to his YouTube channel and he doesn't live in the Philippines. He's probably never been to the Philippines. But people have this perception of anywhere that they don't live is like the most dangerous place on the planet. Millions of people live in the Philippines. Like, they figured it out. This this is not just some crime-ridden, like, death camp or something. Like, like it, tons of people live their entire life here. And I think that a lot of people don't realize that... Um, Unless you've lived here and then moved somewhere else, you don't realize just how freaking nice the Philippines is. The Philippines is like a really good place. And it's like in any other country. You can move to a good place that's safe and great for your kids and, you know, has everything you want. Or you can move somewhere where it's a crappy place. Like, that's true with every country. So you could just figure out where, where you want to live when you get here, too. Like, it's like if you're in, like, the metro Manila area... You have everything here. Like the modern conveniences are like here. And that's another reason why we moved here. I don't want to be a uh, an American moving from the U.S. to the Philippines to just be a rich person living in poverty. Like I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm camping. I, I don't want to like cook on a, like a charcoal grill and like like live on a beach or like whatever. No, I'm 32. Like I still want to work. I still want to like make more money. I still want to um, do more things with my life. I want to vacation more. Like I want to do all these things. And you can have all those modern amenities here, depending on where you live, but it's still much cheaper than the US. Like like the the fact is like we pay like a thousand dollars a month for rent. We live in a four bedroom, three bath house. It's a super modern home. It's freaking nice. Um, you know, we have super rich neighbors and I'm not saying, I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just saying that even for a thousand bucks a month, you can live in a super nice area with really like high end type of amenities here. Like we have malls, we have a refrigerator, we have a microwave, we have, uh, uh, Kasamba high. We have, a like, uh, what do I call them? Like, like maids helpers that are live in and we can like live a totally different life here. Um, but it's at a fraction of the price of what you'd pay in the U S 
but you still you still can have all of those modern amenities here in the Philippines. And the final reason, really, like the the reason why we just like decided we want to move here and just went, is because I can. We live in an age where you can work online. I own an online business, and even if I didn't, you could easily work here remotely. Hundreds, hundreds of thousands of uh, Filipinos and uh, Filipinas live here and they work here remotely. Why? Because you can have good, reliable internet. We pay 40 bucks a month for 500 megabytes per second and it's reliable. Like, do you think that like all these people that are in the Philippines don't have internet? Like, you don't have to live in a hut <laughs> um, if you're in the Philippines. You can still work here. You can still have these amenities. You can still live a very nice life life. And, you know, I'll make a whole separate video on like the laundry list of things I, I freaking love about the Philippines. Cause honestly, I can say this just flat out. Since I moved to the Philippines, it feels like I'm living like a fantasy life. I literally have never been happier. My wife, I've never seen her happier. My kids are young. They think all this is normal. Like they think it's normal to just live in the U.S. for a while and then move to the Philippines. We still have a house in the Phil in the the U.S. Like we still haven't sold it yet, but like like we have a we are living our life. We're taking charge of it. We're just going for it right now. Um, if you want to join me on this journey where I'm just figuring it out living in the Philippines. If you're curious about what it's like to do that, or if you want to do the same for yourself, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a whole playlist of videos that tell you about my experiences here, like uh, my experience with um, the police, uh, my experience, uh, things that have surprised me, um, getting your driver's license here, which is super easy. Like the all of my experiences I'm documenting, putting on this YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you liked this and check out the playlist in the description. Thank you for watching.